Gold buying in India is considered auspicious during festival season. The demand for physical gold rises during the Shara and Diwali festivals in the country, which is also coinciding with nearly 35 lakh weddings in this year. So bridal jewellery demand is also estimated higher. Since Diwali, the last year, prices have risen by nearly 20% so far as the rates have surged by around 10,000 rupees per 10 grams in the domestic markets to almost 60,700 as of now. And while there are various ways to buy gold like coin, jewellery, digital etc., people who buy coins usually buy it in 24 carats. Now, 24 carats is the highest purity level for gold, meaning it is 100% pure gold. The 24 carat is used in coins and bars, but you can't make jewellery out of it as it is too soft, bends easily, gets scratched and gets reshaped. It also is notated as 999 gold. To make the jewellery, the 24 carat gold is mixed with copper, nickel or silver which changes its colour, brittleness and malleability. Most of the jewellery in India is made with 22 carats, which is 91.7% pure gold and the rest is silver, zinc, nickel, which makes the metal durable for making jewellery. The best simple gold jewellery like wedding bands, bangles, earrings are made of this. And then you have 18 carat gold, which has 75% purity and is used for all practical everyday watch of jewellery, even watches for that matter. 14 karat gold has purity level of 58.3% gold and is most popular in US accounting for nearly 90% of the market share in rings. The Indian diamond jewellery also is mostly made in 14 karat gold. Other metals used in making 14 karat jewellery are copper, zinc, silver and nickel. And then you have 10 karat gold purity level which is just about 41.7% of gold in this. This is the most impure gold available but most durable in jewellery but not much preferred due to the low gold content and 58.3% in this jewellery is other alloy metals. Well, the minimum carotage for an item to be called gold varies by the country. In the US, 10 carat of gold is legal minimum accepted standard of gold, 14 carat being the most popular. In France, UK, Austria, Portugal and Ireland, 9 carat is the lowest carotage permitted to be called gold. In Denmark and Greece, 8 carat also is allowed. And it's not just about choosing purity, you can choose gold in various colours too. Gold now is available in diverse colours. The process of mixing other metals in the 24 carat gold, while gives it durability, it also can be used to change colours. White gold is created through alloying pure gold with white metals such as palladium and silver. So this is white gold. Inclusion of copper results with soft pink complexion which is called rose gold. Pink gold uses least copper followed by rose gold with red gold having the highest copper content. While the more unusual colours such as blue and purple gold can be obtained from addition of patinas or oxides on the alloy surface. Black gold, for example, derives its colour from the cobalt oxide. And cadmium can also be added to gold alloys to create a green colour for gold. The grey gold alloys are usually made from gold and palladium and the oxide layers can also be used to obtain gold which is blue in colour.